I mean, the lectures are really good here. I was a bit skeptical at first that they might be a bit too much of hand waving, but they are really, really technical, really good. I love it. I did really like the hyperspectral camera, so you can really see the difference between camouflage and like real world stuff. So we had a tour of a radio observatory and there was this humongous telescope within this ray dome, which was really interesting. I've never been in one of those before. I have an opportunity to meet really cool people and uh, I make contacts and then I can pick their brains at some point and be a bit smarter. We had to guarantee for every person that retires, there's at least two people that come in to reintegrate the ranks to make sure that there is a continuity in the scientific community that works towards the development of military technology. So I think when you look at what SET does, taking a look at anything from radar, which is a well understood area of research, up to kind of the vibrometry and the hyperspectral imaging capabilities, kind of technology and the R&D behind that gives soldiers and the boots on the ground like the maximum advantage you could expect them to have. Detecting identification, it's all part of a kill chain. If you can't find your enemy, if you can't identify your enemy, then you are just splashing around. So you need to know what you are shooting or defending against. Seeing the actual radar dishes and the telescope in person almost like humbling in a way. Like it makes you understand that the work you're doing can have a real impact. It's fantastic to see like these actual things in work and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. It really puts everything into sort of perspective and gives you a context of what you're doing. It was really interesting. I'm really glad we went. In order to maintain our technological edge, bringing the young and brightest scientists and engineers together in such a thing as a summer school is just excellent. It makes them feel at home with each other. They can exchange ideas, exchange technology. They make connections. They can benefit from this in their career afterwards, even if they do not, let's say, go into the military or into defense. They will always have this as a basis for their development. I think it's really important to have that community and that network of people that you are working with, especially with NATO when you know, we're all on the same side, we all need to work together and collaboration is sort of the key to all of our development. Well, the two things I'm hoping that students will take away from here. First one is more knowledge. The second is um, be inspired by all the work that is done within the set panel, potentially become the next generation of scientists to fill the ranks, to become part of the collaborative problem of work and to shape the future of, of uh, sensing technology. This type of let's throw a person to the deep end and let them meet really cool persons, get uh, hangs of really cool concepts, it's superb. Mm -hmm.